to continue in coverage now of the $220 million lawsuit filed against Johns Hopkins Old Children's Hospital. The Kowalski family of Sarasota County says that the hospital's actions while caring for their daughter Maya led to her mother's suicide. It also claims that the hospital medically kidnapped Maya. Staff were physically abusive to her on at least one occasion, but attorneys for the hospital say that is just not the case. One nurse took the stand today, claiming that Maya's mother offered to give her daughter pain meds as a reward. Ten David Bay's Adoria Chumba has more on what was said in court. I recall that it being a very tense environment. Um, Maya was um, very belligerent. Kelly Thatcher, a pediatric nurse practitioner at All Children's Hospital, told the court this week that she was working as Maya's nightside nurse when she interacted with Beata Kowalski around October 7, 2016. Mrs. Kowalski was not interested in having any conversations, conversations with me. I would try to talk to her. She wasn't really listening. And I always try to in, bring my parents in, in conversations, but she was not engaged at all in discussing anything with me. She said that Beata was instead dictating to medical staff what treatment she wanted from Maya. We wanted to do the scan and it was actually Ms. Kowalski who re was refusing the scan and she once Maya fell asleep within minutes then she thought it was appropriate to go to the CT scan. That was not us refusing. Thatcher buttressed several nurses and physicians testimony about Maya using foul language. Maya was cussing a lot. Um, she was cussing during most of my interactions with her. She was yelling to us that she wanted to be sedated and she was saying sedate me I want to be sedated. Thatcher said aside from mom Beata requesting high doses of ketamine and other pain medication like propofol, many other red flags were raised about her interactions with her daughter Maya, including a change in Maya's behavior when mom was out of the room. And Maya was very pleasant. She was very um, age appropriate, like you would think a 10 year old would behave. She was kind. She used kind words. Um, unfortunately, I don't remember what we spoke about, but I kind of let her lead the conversation because I, I was really enjoying those moments with her. She said her concerns escalated when mom was offering medication as an incentive. She specifically told Maya if she laid still for the scan, she would get a reward. So when she was done, she said, now you get Valium. I don't know how else to interpret that. I don't really want to speculate on what she wanted. I can just tell you it's not a safe practice. And she was a registered nurse. She was an infusion nurse. And she would have known that that was a potential to bolus Maya with medication, which is absolutely against our Florida nursing practice. And it's outside of our, our scope of practice as a nurse. In Venice, Aduria Chumba, 10 Tampa Bay. The case which gained attention after the Netflix documentary Take Care of Maya will soon be in the hands of the jury. We're told that the hospital will be resting its case tomorrow, which then leaves closing arguments and jury deliberations.